Hi, I will show you the easiest way of Facebook lead generation using Meta Ads with Instant Forms. If you want people to register for your consultation, course, any services super fast without overthinking it, with no Facebook pixels and even with no website if you don't have it, this Facebook ads tutorial is for you. So let's go to our ads manager. So we choose a proper business manager and go to campaigns. We create here a new campaign and choose leads. Continue. Now we need to name this campaign. No one will see it except for the administrators on the page. So just choose one you like. Then uh, we need to scroll down. And if you want to, you may add an A-B test. But it's not so necessary because you may as well create several copies uh, manually and uh, you can use advantage campaign budget that's how you may set a daily budget what you want to spend on this campaign daily then we scroll down and go next now we are on the uh, ad group level and we need to name it as well because we can create several groups. For example, it might be different countries or different cities or different interests of your audience. So choose uh, instant forms and you need to choose your Facebook page. Then you need to turn the dynamic creative on. And you may start, uh, may choose a start date and a date if you want to. And now we will work with the audience. So you need to choose location you need. For example, let's include uh, United States. You may as well exclude any places. For example, let's say we don't want to show our ads uh, in Alaska, let's say. So we may choose Alaska to exclude from our uh, advertisement. Now we work with the age. So we need to actually know our target audience. We can uh, choose also gender. If you're new to my channel, I'm Valentina, a marketing strategist and entrepreneur. I will help you with YouTube growth and meta ads. And if you need help with any of the steps in your ads, please book a free consultation using the link in the description and I will help you out. And now we will narrow our audience even more down. So uh, we can choose uh, job titles, we can choose interests, we can really play around this field demographics. I suggest leave automatic placements and go for them. So now we on the third level we need to create our ad. Okay again we name it. Choose our Facebook page and Instagram account and we may upload our images. And now it's time to prepare our images and text. It's better to have several of them, so several texts and several images, different versions, so uh, we can see which will be working better. And Facebook will totally help you with the testing and it will leave those which work better. So you can use Canva or other sources to create images and don't forget to add call to action to your texts. When we have ready images, we can upload them and use several of them at the same time. So we can choose several images. For example, let's choose something I created earlier. 
Here we can see how our images look on different placements. We can test it and correct something, maybe. And now we will work with our text. What we need here is primary text. It's actually the post which will be seen by uh, our audience. So we can copy paste it from some document and we can uh, use auto generated versions of this or add uh, our versions. So I suggest uh, from three to four versions of your text and headline. Also several of them. It should be very small, like two or three words call to action and also we can add several more using outer versions or just our versions okay let's scroll down and we need to choose uh, for example sign up or apply now if you want to um, get applications and we need to create a form for this application give it a name no one will see this name it's just for you and here i recommend to use higher intent okay let's go we need to add uh, some intro uh, and upload the image you can use image from your facebook page for example or just some you know generic more generic image to just um, have this form nice Okay, let's upload an image and go through there. Now we have this image. Uh, on the right side, you can see how your form looks like. And now we need to fill out this headline. For example, request for a free one-to-one -one consultation or call, something like that. Here we need a several sentences or maybe one sentence or a description like hi, thanks for addressing me, please fill out the form, something like that. And we can also use questions to um, create some filters for our requests. But I suggest to skip this point and go further and just add what people need to fill out actually here we need to add uh, a small um, explanation how we're gonna use their data something like uh, your data will be only used by our company and will not be transferred to any third parties something like that and uh, we need to add email, full name and phone number. I suggest adding phone number because not everyone uh, opens their email. You know, it's like not for everybody, I would say. And um, it's a good thing to add explanation uh, what exactly they need to do. For example, if you want to contact people via WhatsApp, you need to add this. Here, we need to add a link to our privacy policy and to name it as privacy policy. So I would use uh, my uh, page on my website with privacy policy. It's pretty standard and we'll name it. If you don't have a website with a privacy policy page, you can simply create a PDF document and uh, just leave the link to your Google Drive. Let me know in the comments if you need a link to a privacy policy generator, which helps you create the document within five seconds. It's pretty much it. And we can see the review section how people actually can check the information and also we need to add at the end a message for leads and you can use Calendly or any other services, booking services 
to make the process of the registration easier for people who register and they will finish their registration right away alternatively you can leave it as it is and just use the contacts that people will leave for you to contact them so i'm gonna use uh, my calendly here my calendly link so i will one more time add the information that um, they can actually press the button named calendly and just easily book my uh, consultation I really like this service, so highly recommend it. And uh, I will name this button currently. So that's it. We created a form. And now we can check everything and see how it actually looks like. If we want to, we can uh, add questions and then filter those who will be not good for our consultation and add message for them okay it looks good uh, if we want to change something we cannot do that we just need to duplicate our form and create a new one but not from scratch but uh but from the information we already had in the previous one so be careful and before you create this form and um you save the information you need to check it just double check it okay and publish and it's publishing it takes several seconds and then we can see these ads as processing once your campaign is approved you will see the statistics to see the statistics you need to go here results download the results in Excel, open the file and there will be the contacts here. All you need uh, is here, name, email and phone number. So that's pretty easy. We did it. I suggest you content everyone who registers within 24 hours to not lose your leads. If you have any questions about this type of ads, let me know in the comments and good luck with those leads. See you!